Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I'm here today to share a technique with you using glass bead gel um, to create backgrounds on your mini album pages and you can also use it to make backgrounds on tags and cards or what have you. So let me show you a little project that I worked on and this is just a little tag slash card that I made um, for my dad for Father's Day. And it's really, um, really, really simple, but if you can see, and I'm using my flip camera so it doesn't focus too well um, on objects that are closer than a foot, but you can see the glass bead gel creates this really cool texture um, on the project. And I randomly threw it on with a spatula, so um, there are some spots that don't have the gel in it here that I distress, and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, using this technique. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to be doing is making the cover of my art journal. So for the first thing that you want to do, and I'm using the heavy, the medium cardstock, um, or chipboard, I'm sorry, and, um, and this is cut at 5 by 11. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my work surface because when you're working with the um, the glass bead gel, you want to make sure it's a non-smooth surface that you're working with um, so that it adheres well. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Liquitex Gesso and I'm just going to go ahead and prime up my page and um, prep it for the bead gel. Okay, so I have my work surface primed up with the Gesso. Um, I also wanted to mention that if you don't have access to the, um, the golden gel mediums, the glass bead gel, um, another option is you can use molding paste and your local craft store should carry molding paste. Um, it's pretty standard in the art world. Um, but you can use modeling paste and the Martha Stewart Crafts uh, glass micro beads easily. And um, what you would do is you would take a chunk of the molding paste and kind of create like a little hole to stick the beads in because you don't want these beads rolling all over the place because they do get everywhere and mix it together. Or you could do it like in a little bowl, like a little um, stainless steel um, bowl. You could mix it up in there. Um, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> and I like to work with the um, Windsor Newton Galleria um, gold um, acrylic paint. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a mixture of the glass bead gel medium and I'm going to color it up with the um, with the acrylic paints. You don't have to color up the glass bead gel, but it'll apply clear on your project. And the clear looks pretty cool because you could distress over it if you wanted to, but I like to give it color. And that's what I did in this project here. Okay, I actually used several different things, um, not just the acrylic paint. Let me go ahead and create the mixture and I do everything directly on my craft mat um, because it's non-stick and so it's very super easy to clean. You're going to need a spatula and this is what I'm using. This is by Low Cornell. Um, you can get this at Michael's or whatever and you're just going to go ahead and scoop a good chunk of this out and I'm not going to do the whole background of my cover in um, glass bead gel but I'm going to cover most of it. Okay, so you're just going to scoop some onto your craft sheet. So once you got the um, the glass bead gel mixture on your craft sheet, you want to go ahead and take your acrylic paint and put a really good wallop of that into the bead gel mixture. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it on my prepped surface here. And you always, always want to start in one end. It doesn't dry very fast, but um, and you can always go over it again if you need to, which is perfectly fine. So it's kind of like spreading peanut butter, guys. Don't be afraid. And you don't have to use the smooth. You can just randomly throw it on there, and that's what I like to do. But when I first get it on, I like to smooth it on so I cover um, parts of the surface that I want covered. And I've got to remember that my binding is going to be on this left side, so I don't want it to be too chunky over here because I need to get it into my cinch. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of push things a little bit this way. And then just sort of play around with the texture. And you can actually add stuff into this um, gel, like any type of mediums, um, maybe like some netting or whatever. It'll stick in there and it'll dry up in there. 
and it's a really cool look. So just play around with it. I like to ex experiment. I don't, I'm not afraid to try different things. So, okay. So you guys can see what I've done here and I've kind of, I'm trying to sort of blend it into the page because I'm not going to go all the way and I don't want it to be like a, a clean border between the two. So I'm just, okay. And then what you do um, from there is you can heat set it and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'll drive that glass bead pearl gel is finally dry. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to fill in the spots with my Studio Semi-Gloss Acrylic Paint. And this is by Claudine Helmuth. I love working with this paint. It's awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bristle brush and I'm gonna sort of daub the paint onto my project here. Okay, so I'm just gonna color And when I get to the border, it's not gonna really matter much because I'm gonna be doing some further distressing and I'll show you guys what I mean by that um, as I take you through this tutorial. So the acrylic paint is now dry and if you can see that, um, what I did is I daubed it pretty close to, with the bristle brush, I daubed it pretty close to the edge of the, the glass bead gel. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna get my spray box in there and I am going to take my mini mister um, which has a mixture of um, color wash in the espresso color and um, it also has the bronze um, perfect pearls okay so I'm gonna go ahead and spray and I'm gonna spray a little bit down here too so here we go And this is what I meant by the blending's not going to really matter much because I'm going to do some additional distressing on the page. So. so here's the page on how it looks after I did the Mini Mister Spray. And if you guys can see the discoloration here from the color wash on the corner. And the color wash gives a totally different um, effect than the Glimmer Mist. the color wash, you can really see how it, it just sort of sinks in and gives that um, grungy distressed look. And you'll see where I blended. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is just so cool how the pearl, um, the glass bead gel sort of pops out where the paint meets. So I really love that look. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my uh, Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and I'm going to define the edges on the top of my page. And what I mean by that is if you see it right now, the edges are really not defined and I really like that definition where you can see where the page ends. And so um, I'm just gonna sort of rub my Distress Ink over the edges. And you don't have to use your, um, your ink. I like to use acrylic paint also on the edges of my work. So you can do um, acrylic paint also, and that works really well. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to take my uh, ink pad and I am just going to go right on over the beaded gel area. Um, you can also use your distress tool for this but it's not going to work too well because you need a totally flat rub across the entire work and with the the, um, the ink tools you can't go well unless you got really great control to go completely straight across in one motion. This will keep it flat because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to define the ridges of the glass bead gel. So there you go, super fun. My background is prepped and I can't wait um, to decorate it. And if you guys see on the edging, um, so if you do a thin layer, you get a totally cool look um, with the bead gels, but I like to do it chunky because not only do you get this dimension, but in each um, inset of the of the um, the dimension, like sort of like the um, you got the mountains, and then you have like the the craters, and the craters you have the nice look of the bead gel all over. So it's just gorgeous. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this technique. Thanks for watching, everyone.